Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Dazza. And today I have a Nina Conti reaction video for you. And this is in therapy, her first session. And I've watched a few Nina Conti videos of her doing a stage show with the monkey. And now this this is a little mini series that she done on YouTube, which I'm looking forward to. It's, it's something different that like I don't know how funny it's going to be. I, I can see by the title that there's going to be some strong language in here. So I, I, I know to expect that, which I'm OK with. But yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to be hilarious. This, this is a, a, a series. I think if I remember rightly, it had like five or six videos. There might be more. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I love watching a ventriloquist that's able to bring their dummy to life and it, you watch and like you actually, in your mind, like you forget that there's just one person controlling like herself and like the male puppet. But yeah, though, I love ventriloquism along them lines. So I really am looking forward to this and I'm hoping that it's going to be funny, but we'll see. And I know I've had a few requests on the channel to do some more Nina Conte. So yeah, that. I, I have read, I have seen, so I'm going to do my best to bring as many more as I can now. But until then, enjoy this one. Are you um, comfortable? Yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> this is it, you see, this is, the, this is Monkey. This is Monkey? Yeah. Hi. Um... So, thank you for seeing us. It's a little unusual, huh? Doing any of your clients have monkeys? This is certainly an unusual situation. It's first for me, but that's very much what you were saying on the phone, that you wanted mm. to be able to come to a session whereby you could bring your puppet with you. And, and you were saying on the phone that um, you'd found it actually quite difficult to find a therapist who would allow you to bring your puppet into the session with you. Mm. Yeah, well, actually, I didn't ask, but I was probably put off by... The blurb, she liked your picture. Well, let's start by uh, looking at why it is that you want to give up, monkey. I am the sickness. It's a, it's a kind of a, it's a funny thing, it, and it's also um, a crutch thing. I'm stronger than her. I think it's because it feels as if I've become a thing without him which feels to me like a subtraction from myself, mm -hmm. you know? And now she has found herself to be a sidekick in her own life. I, I, I provide a little addictive hit. You know, I get, how so, monkey? Or, you know, I say a thing, makes her heart beat fast and makes her think, ooh, did I get away with that? Makes me embarrassed, monkey. Yeah, but you like it. I find it makes my heart race, yeah. But that's not enjoyable. So there's, a, there's a lot happening here mm. already. Mm. Um, I know. So let's, let's just try to focus on maybe one thing at a time. Let's what start. is this? Like, it's a performance order, the shit this is. I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> endless. But the, let's, let's start very much with why, you know, what you said to me on the phone and why it is that you, you're coming here, which okay. is the process of giving up monkey. Mm -hmm. The implication there is that it's causing you some discomfort or some problems? It's not causing her problems, making her money. It's helping her express herself. It's like a compulsion to say the unsayable. Monkey is a mouthpiece for transgression, to say the unsayable. You just repeated what she said with hand gestures. Yes. I'm asking if that feels right to you. Um, yes, in no. some ways, or oh, why the fuck would she have said it otherwise not <laughs> Sherlock? There seems little point in, in these sessions if you're just running your comedy routine, effectively. Mm, because that's, that's absolutely... Mm, mm, mm. So again, I'm yeah, just trying to... Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's a display of the illness, so don't try to cut it out, you know, enjoy it. Maybe you fucking laugh, <laughs> you tight-ass shithead. That's probably something he would say on stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> feels more intense, like the three of us, I feel I should apologise, but also feel you can take it. I don't think you can. Well, let me, <laughs> let me just clarify a couple of things from my point of view here, which mm -hmm. is there aren't three of us, there's, there's two of us. Not true. And you're making the voice. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> there were three in the bed, and the little one said, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out, and that fuck is you. <laughs> what the fuck? There are three here. To deny me is tiresome. Okay, yeah, I understand that. M 
monkey is often a mouthpiece for hostility. Mm, mm. Yeah. Do you think she's angry inside? Do you think you're angry inside? Do you feel angry at the moment? No, I feel kind of um, sheepish, apologetic, and I don't. You've got to go on Russia, that's pretentious. Are you Russian? <laughs> You've got a head like Lenin. Did that hurt your feelings? The dynamic that I'm seeing here is that you uh, are apologising for things that you, of course, yourself are saying. Mm. And you mentioned we are aware that a... of the concept. I mean, we do know that she does my voice. We are aware you're not enlightening me. Well, you know what it is, Nina. It's, it's, it's cutting through the shit is what it is. It's saying what is in the room. And if that is rude, well, I'm fucking sorry. But I'm having a good time and I invite you to do the same. I don't know. Well, I mean, I like it. I think I want to meet someone who likes that shit too. Like, this isn't a, a dating um, scenario. Really? Because that might help things along a bit. <laughs> you mentioned your dating situation. Uh huh. I wonder if that's something you'd like to talk about. I didn't mention that, did I? Yes. I can hear a buzzing, like a bee or something's in here with me. If I, if I get stung, I'm going to lose my shit. Yes, you did. Dating. No, I should it. I, yeah, I know, but I mean... What is your current dating situation? Oh, right. Uh, a lot of wanking, eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's fun. Say something. <laughs> when did you have your last wank? Today? Or do you do it between patients? How, how long have you gone without monk? What's the longest period of time you've gone? Without a wank? Without monkey. Um, <laughs> I don't know, half a day, maybe. Well, yeah, I mean, longer than that, isn't it, sometimes? Well, if it's, you know, if you're at a funeral. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah, it's okay, you know, I don't know. Your head is shining. It's not a bad thing. It's just an observation. Monkey, why, um, why have you come to this session? I don't have a choice, dickhead. I can't walk in the other direction. <laughs> I'm an unhappy annex of this tired old lady. And what is it that you would like? Me? Yeah. A, a drink and a fuck. We need help. And you seem a little lacklustre in the health department. Where's the humanity? What's your pain? Maybe you're going through a divorce. Maybe you're single. Yeah, this session is really for, for you and is it about you. Mm. Um, why do you feel that it's important to discuss me and talk about me? Or deflecting. Well, I don't think it is, really. Well, I think it's important. We need to know who we're talking to. Otherwise, this is just a one-way thing. I see. It, it, it seems to me that you don't, you don't actually wish to give up, Monkey. She wants to be me. I would <laughs> probably rather that than lose me. There are elements of what Monkey uh, facilitates mm -hmm. that you would like to feel are rounded within you. Is that how you feel? Mm -hmm. Jesus, it took him a little while to get there, but I think you got there. Certainly coming to the end of our time oh, uh, for this session, yes. Oh, wow. The first thing I'd suggest is that um, you come back next week <laughs> without monkey. That's something maybe for you to think about in the week, you know, whether, whether you feel that you mm. would like to do that or not. Mm. And, and for you this week, I'd like you to think about whether you could suck your own dick. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're just wittering on, I think of you doing a sit-up and sucking your own dick. <laughs> okay, I suppose we'll, we'll see. see I could week, do without yes. that. Yeah, okay. See you next I'll week. see you next week. <clears throat> okay, so... I don't know. In regards to this, it's 
it's the first episode of a series, so I'm not going to dismiss it now. There were some funny parts in there. And there were some parts where it was just like, really? <laughs> it says here, like, each session is improvised, which makes it just that little bit more impressive. But I, I want to see how this progresses. I want to see how the series progresses. So I, I plan on, like, continuing and doing more. But, yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence at the moment with this one. I really enjoy us stuff on stage with Monkey. But, yeah, the, the concept of just three of them in a room. And I had this same issue as well when um, with Jeff Dunham when I got asked to do videos of, like, arrested development. Not arrested development. Like, um, the one where they'll get arrested and everything. I was asked to do that, and I was just thinking, like, doing it in a room as opposed to on stage where there's no laughter and there's no things like that to, like, feed off the crowd. Like, how am I going to feel with it? And a couple of the Jeff Dunham ones were had me, like, in tears. And I'm hoping that, like, going in more into, like, Nina's videos away from the stage will do the same. But, yeah, it's it's we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it's going to go. But, yeah, on the fence at the moment. But I'm not going to say that it was bad because I, I did laugh most of the way through it as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. But, guys, listen, thank you all for tuning in. If you're a fan of Nina Conte, then let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if there's any other videos you want me to react to. And also, let me know if you want me to carry on with this series as well. The... I, I will, but it's nice to know your opinion as well. But guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you in the next one.